Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119, another Ameritron AL811H. The stock plate choke is fairly damaged. Middle, some of the windings were sitting in the bottom of the amp. I already removed the shaft that couples the rotary switch to the input rotary switch. I already removed the parasitic board. Needs new SO239 connectors. Has some soot. I must have been in an environment where it sucked in smoke or something. So I'm going to try to clean some of that off. But I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and ground the grids, uh, do all the other modifications, and uh, I'll show you when it's all finished. Getting a brand new set of Pentalab 572B tubes. So stay tuned. See you soon. Okay, so I removed the MOV from the board and the gas discharge tube. I cut and restripped the filament wires, grounded each grid, one grid connection per socket directly to the metal here, and added two gas discharge tubes right at the sockets, one per side of the filament. All four filaments are in parallel, so one per side. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and reinstall it. See you soon. Okay, so I'm back with the completed Ameritron AL811H. There's the old plate choke. The old SO239s. The old plate blocking caps. The MLV. And the gas discharge tubes are under somewhere. There's the old short screw that went in through the bottom of the plate choke. I always put a longer screw in. It tends to back out, plus it only catches a couple threads. So with the new plate choke, the strap where the B positive connection is made was actually way too low, the clamp. So I slid it up. And uh, there's the new choke that I did that to. The new plate blockers, the trace was damaged. This is the junction where the got the plate blocking caps and the plate tune air variable cap is underneath, and that's what that connection is that comes through the board. So there's a, a trace that goes from this point over to the coil and that was damaged so I replaced it with a piece of strap, bridged it. You saw what I did underneath the tube sockets. This parasitic board must have been changed by someone else, it's too clean. Cleaned off a bunch of the soot um, but it was missing the split washer underneath so I added that. Placed the SO239 connectors. Cleaned the rotary switches, you know the band switch and the input rotary switch with the oxygold. And, uh, Tested, full out, put on all bands, got a brand new set of Pentalab 572B tubes. Great customer service over there. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119 and the website is amprepairguy.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. Really appreciate it. 73.